Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I think that's what it was. Yes, Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we got through the opening. This time, um, hello. I'm not quite ready to open up for the day. I'm guessing just there's not gonna be much I can actually do. Oh hey, it looks like there's even a little park here. Sounds like a good place to have a sandwich. Seems like the perfect spot to catch a breather, what with all these shops around. <clears throat> huh? Another girl. Oh, and she's got the <clears throat> red uniform. Why is she sleeping here? Probably because she's tired. Is she a new student? She's got the uniform and all. The ceremony is going to be starting soon. Maybe I should wake her up. Uh, oh, she's awake. Uh, and she's adorable. Uh, There's a better. There are better places to take a nap than on a bench, you know. Uh, um. Hmm. Guess I better go. Well, slow down. She's sure a strange one. Like a stray cat or something. If she's headed to the school, I'd say that's my cue to pick up the pace. Probably. Oh, hello. So that's Thor's Military Academy. It's right in front of me, but the idea of attending a prestigious school still feels like a dream. Okay. Kid! Annie, I'm playing with my brother today. Guess he doesn't have because he doesn't have any friends. I don't know if that's sweet or mean. I guess you're the brother. I'm a little jealous that you're a Thor's student. I'd like to start attending high school as soon as possible. Playing along with the other children. A Sunday school has gotten too boring. Okay, Emil. Ah, so Chugger Conroy's in a video game. Neat. I think I took two. Found Chugga. Wait, I should specify what game it is. There. I'll probably have to clip that out. I shall girl. take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies Laura. and your training. That is not the handle. Thank you, Klaus. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood, milady. Oh, please excuse my rudeness, young sir. You weren't being rude. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? 
the start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. What is his lip movement? Allow me to express <laughs> my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh. Thank you very much. The lip movement is weird. I suppose it's better than nothing. I'm guessing he's a butler? <laughs> he certainly looks the part. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family or something. Is possibility. What's over here? Maid! Hi! Your name is Lotte? Lot? Lodi? I don't know. What's up, douchebag? Oh, you're second year. Yo, new kid. You're in the wrong spot. How the hell you even end up here? It's straight shot to the academy. Assy. I'm just poking about, dude. That's the lower class dorm. I take it that's not where I'm supposed to be going, man. Yeah? Just an assumption. So this is it. Thor's Military Academy. I was expecting it to look like a hammer. Maybe an axe? Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Is that supposed to name mean is that name supposed to mean something? Oh, look at this one, all fancy. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the Academy. Much obliged. Another red jacket. I don't remember his name. Please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I prefer to avoid standing out too much. Then you shouldn't have taken the limo! Uh, but, sir... This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Berea hard. I see it as you're trying to do things for yourself. As you wish. I shall be departing then, sir. May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care of yourself. Meeting all my classmates. Wow! An Orbal limousine! And one of Reinford's fanciest models, too. Looks like even Erebonia's upper crusts send their children here. Welcome to Thor's Military Academy. You are a child. And you are adorable. You're... let's see... Yes, you're the last of them. I will protect you. That'd make you... Green Schwarzer, right? Schwarzer. Yes, it's, that sounds very, very German. Uh, yes, that's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. But how do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. You have the... whatever it's called, don't you? Don't sweat the details Attendance right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I'll need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. Thanks. We should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. The entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. You, chubby man. 
You protect this girl with your life. We're glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. Seriously, protect this girl with your life. She is adorable. She is a cinnamon bun that must be protected. I guess those two must be second years? She seemed a little young to be a second year. That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. A lot younger. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in, am I? Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony to start, though. Well, here's to the start of a great two years. Get on with it! Not all of us. I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. I don't know if this game is on Steam or not. Thor's Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. It was on... There's been a few of these games. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykels. The very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned yes, prosperity to the, the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, yes, many of our graduates game. now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dreykel's famous mandate. Oh, there's that instructor lady. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young. Yet still the question remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. The foundation of the world, huh? <laughs> no pressure, right? There's another, there's a couple more <laughs> my classmates. No kidding. Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy road. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. Elliot. I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah. Just thinking to myself. We saw a noble in a red uniform. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine, either. 
I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right, students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. Oh, it's this lady. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking. That's exactly what we were thinking. That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? Did you mean an orientation oh, what's exercise? That girl? Hmm. There's Laura. The, 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 the cat girl. She was taking a nap. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. Um. Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. Hmm? <laughs> you jealous, white boy? this place. Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? Uh, is she ever gonna tell us what's going on? Calm down, Specs. I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. That's exactly what you're going to have to do. Th this place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. The blonde girl is Alyssa. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with a red uniform so far. I guess we really are part of the same class then. the stiffs. So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. They're clearly important. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. He would know. Still, looks like elisa has got some stiff competition. Elisa. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Okay. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait. No, no, not these ones, too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> uh -huh. Did Did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. Well, look who finally made it. Oh, it's nice work. those two. The cinnamon bun and the chubby guy. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep, they're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. Okay, so these aren't assholes. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. 
Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? Interesting. Old schoolhouse, first floor. Doesn't seem to be in that bad a shape. Sarah Valstein. The name's Sarah Valstein. Valstein, okay. I'm the instructor in charge of class seven, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. And a pleasure it is indeed. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, class seven? Uh, us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy. Aw, she's bashful. And that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Oh, so they're in a classist society. Clearly a monarchy. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Wh what do you... We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. Wait, you just jumped straight from five to seven? Yep. Y you're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? Seems that way. <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. Oh, calm your tits. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Chill your tits, Specs. Well, uh... Um... Who are you again? <laughs> Machias. Machias Regnitz. Machias, okay? I'm gonna probably be calling you Machias through this. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this! Oh, somebody doesn't get Daddy's credit card. Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Oh, you're not a noble. Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? You're, you're not a noble? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? That's how kids are, Is generally. Just get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? Well, you could start by start by calming your tits, Machias. <laughs> and what's your problem? You, Machias. I, I cannot say your actual name. You're calling you Machias. Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. I do as well. Is that so? It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. That would be Skyon, you... That would be Skyon. Please, me lord, do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Oh, he's a passive-aggressive asshole. Jusus. Jusus? Eusus Alborea. Eusus? Oh, that's definitely German, then. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. Oh! He he's from one of the four great houses! The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. I'd heard the rumors. <sighs> I think she's tired. D do you expect me to be impressed? No, I don't Your think Your family does. lineage means nothing to me! Calm your tits, Machias! I'll never bend my knee to the likes of... Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. 
Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it for me to keep you from our fun little icebreaker. <sighs> you mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier. What exactly does that involve? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? Uh, something of that nature. <sighs> Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? I've got to find my weapons. But I don't want to spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh, what? Save your girlfriend. Up oh, and come on, Fee. Fee. No cheating. You're going with them, and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? Ugh, lame. Yeah, that was kind of funny. Oh, what just happened? The floor gave out from under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds then? Apparently. What does that woman think she's playing at? was going to jump out of my chest. Get a spine, Elliot. Hey, Reen, are you... Okay? I think he's just Easy fine. Easy now. Hands where she can see them. Oh, what happened? Huh? <laughs> um, well, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? Ah! You landed on him. Wow, it's just not your day, is it? Well, now that I've hit the bottom, things can only improve. I hope. Hand me that pickaxe, I can dig deeper, damn it. Oh, they're just giving us our weapons. Right there. What is this place anyway? I was wondering the same thing. We should check out those tables. They seem to have our weapons. Huh? Is this? It's coming from the devices we received with the Academy Guidebook. Seems to be some sort of portable orbment. Right you are. These handy little devices are a special kind of battle orbment. Thank you, Sarah. Is that Miss Valestine? So these devices have built-in communications functionality then? Wait, don't tell me these things are... New model battle orbments made through a partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Rhineford Company. Capitalism! Newly made fifth generation battle orbments, in fact. They're called Arcus units. Arcus. So these are battle orbments. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will. Just set a quartz into one of its slots and you can use arts all the live long day. Sounds kinky. Which is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you.
So, and there are those little chests with our weapons. The weapons you brought are all here too. Each packaged neatly along a little box containing a quartz. Find yours and try setting the quartz into your Arcus. Hmm. I suppose it can't hurt to try. Uh, what is this woman thinking? I love how the noble guy just <sighs> doesn't seem to care. Let's see. Mine is... Oh, I see mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay? Yeah, go right ahead, buddy. No one's stopping you. Look, I I am sorry about earlier. To be fair, you did fall on me. Force. What's this? That's called a Master Quartz. If you set that into the large slot in the center of your Arcus, you'll be able to use arts. You don't pay attention, do you, Reen? Go on, give it a try. Orbments. A general term for mechanical devices that extract oral energy from septimum and use it to generate magical effects and enchantments. In the Arcus, I can add quartz to it and increase my power and use other arts and quartz as just crystals I can find. And presumably purchase. Okay, and it does level up with me. nifty features but I wouldn't want to bombard you with too much info all at once so we'll cover those another time anyway since you've got your Arcus all set up and ready to go here's what I want you to do fight to the death when you step through that door you'll be in an underground testing area basically it's a dungeon so there's loot it's pretty large and full of twists and turns I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. Oh shit does not exist in this world, does it? But when you find the exit, you'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around though, so don't let your guard down even for a moment. Oh shit does not have anything to say about this place, do they? With all that said, let's commence our special orienteering exercise. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece, and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. <laughs> I like this girl. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. <laughs> I like this girl. Uh, um, I don't think she's joking. <laughs> Well, let's get started. And just where do you think you're going? Were you planning to wander off on your own without saying anything? Yes! I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Good point. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists, after all. Yeah, you, he has a pretty good right to be pissed off. Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. <laughs> After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with a sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. 
Oh, what, pompous. What the hell? Nobody's asking your high excellency to deign to help us. But if that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find my way out of here before you. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class that's still dragging me down. <laughs> you really don't like nobles, do you, Machias? Um... Uh, what should we do? Get moving? The only thing we can do. We should begin exploring these ruins ourselves. I believe it would be prudent to remain in small groups, however. Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? Oh, no, that's fine. It would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well... I suppose that's a no. Perhaps we'll run into her along the way, and she can join us then. So, shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen will be fine, but do take care. Okay. Well, you took charge, Laura. If you'll excuse us, please. <laughs> you fell on me! <laughs> nah, it's such a hot first impression there, huh? She fell on she me. She can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. Anyway, how do you guys want to do this? Should the three of us stick together too? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be happy to accompany you. Who are you anyway? Oh, you use a lance. Eh, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. You use a pike. Your name is Gaius. I like that name. I don't believe I've introduced myself yet. My name is Gaius Warzel. I just arrived in the Empire, so any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad. I'd been wondering. My name's Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you fight with that? Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? You're holding it's a the spear, sword wrong. But it has that odd cross-shaped head. It's a pike. And Green, you are holding the sword wrong. It looks kind of awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a poleaxe. I was pretty handy with it back home. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this thing. Is it a staff? Wait, no. It's an orbment, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbital staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollment, they told me I had some aptitude for it. So when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't say I have, either. They're still in development, apparently, so there aren't too many around just yet. But that said, I'm curious about what you've got there, Reen. Oh, a sword. my sword? Doesn't look like anything that's special. Yeah, but what kind of sword is it? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the Empire used, though. It's an Eastern style of saber called Itachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. Okay, I'm gonna look up Itachi real quick. If I can get my phone to read my freaking fingerprints! Wow, that's one beautiful blade. It is a sword. Itachi was a type of traditionally made Japanese sword worn by the samurai class in feudal Japan. Itachi and katana generally differ in length, degree of curvature, or and how they are worn. They wear worn and sheathed. The latter depending on the location of the mei of the mei or signature of the tang. It's a bit like a katana, only it has a handguard. Okay. I wouldn't mind having one. I'm a. I collect weapons. 
guns, knives, swords. Got a friggin' rifle the next to me. craftsmanship looks exceptional. I just, I don't They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told, though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you unstoppable. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. We should really be getting ourselves into trouble. I think I can manage that. You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Quite literally. Let's take it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really gel as a team. Got it. Elliot and Gaius have joined the party. This is a tactical RPG. Encounters, and I know I, I kind of figured out how the encounters work. Ha! You're still holding that wrong. I'm sure there's a fighting style that revolves around holding it that way. Yikes! A monster! Huh, never seen this kind before. Looks like a flying feline. Be careful it. If it's a fight they want. Turn order. Yeah, I kind of picked up on all this. Here we go! Double kitty kick. Come on! <laughs> My turn. Leave it to me. Let's keep moving. Tactical bonus. There's a belt sander going Please on behind me. Please tell me there me. aren't more of those things lurking around here. Bro, a spying man. I hate to tell you, but I can sense more further in. Anyway, let's just stay alert. You can now use active... You can... You now view the active voice and monster guide tabs in your notebook. Cool. Okay. And as the battle scope. And how do I use the battle scope? Oh, I can All right, go. That's our switch. Leave it to Here me. Here we go. Wow! I don't know what any of that does. I see a monster over this. Let me explore! Oh, oh treasure, treasure chest. chest! Yeah, I see that. Okay, I can... That was my phone. Okay, interesting. I take it that one's gonna be better suited for a ranged unit. Is that? Yeah, Orbit Charging Station, AKA a heal.
No, seriously, this game actually did come with the soundtrack. Or at least... Musical selection. I don't know if it's the full soundtrack. Still, that's neat. Okay, I bought the Definitive Edition. This is on PS4. Another one. Okay. Wins, give us your blessing. Now I can now it's giving me I know I figured out kinda of figured out how arts worked. Aqua blue. Go! Leave it to me. Argus, activate. Yeah. Wind. Come on. Miss. Counter. Go. Well, your health Six. is gone, so. My turn. So I did nothing. Well, you are range. All right. Argus, activate. Yeah. I go where the wind takes me. It's my turn. Let's put you in the lead <laughs> for a little bit. I'm starting to lose my sense of direction down here. Yeah, gotta make sure we're not going in circles. I think we got this covered. Leave it to me. My turn. Got this! <laughs> Fuck, I freaks. My turn! There! It's my turn. Nice AOE. Give it 
it up, everyone! My turn! Arcus, activate! Leave it to me! There! Ha! My turn! Leave it to me! My turn! Counter! Okay, it's safe for now. <sighs> Elliot, are you okay? I don't see any obvious injuries. I-I'm okay. I was just so relieved the fight was over. The strength kind of just left my legs. I'm amazed how calm you two are. You don't seem tired or worried or anything. I guess I'm just used to fighting monsters like these. You need a hand? N no I'll be fine. It was just a momentary lapse on my part. I can get up. And there we go. Look out! Elliot! Huh? Another one. Uh, no! Okay, who saved my what? ass? Or his ah. ass, I should say. Looks like I made it just in time. Thank Adios for that. Who's there? Oh, it's Specs. Oh, it's you! He's got a shotgun! You said your name was... Machias, right? That's right. I came to realize that I shouldn't have just stormed off like I did. You should apologize to the noble. I let that arrogant noble goad me into losing my composure, acting on impulse. He didn't seem that arrogant. He seemed more indifferent. So I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. I acted foolishly, and I hope you can forgive me for it. Uh, we're not the ones you owe an apology, buddy. And that arrogant, hedonistic noble seemed more indifferent than anything. A sweat. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we all have moments when we say or do things we regret. That's human nature for you. Oh, and thanks for saving me, by the way. I'm just glad I happened to be passing by. After I'd cooled my head, I decided to retrace my steps, and there you were. Is it just the three of you here? For now? Yeah. We stood around talking for a while, so the others are probably ahead of us at this point. I don't think there's any reason to go back any farther. I can't imagine you'll find anyone there. I see. Uh, I... I don't suppose you'd mind if I came with you, would you? Yeah, if you're good with that gun, then sure. I'm reasonably skilled with the gun, so you might find it useful having me along. Sure. Sure thing. Welcome aboard. Just check your fire. I don't want to be hit with stray bullets. The name's Reen Schwarzer. Shouldn't you put that thing on a on your back with a strap? The thing you just threw that into the ether. I'm Elliot Craig. It's nice to meet you. My name is Guy Warzel. It's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine, I assure you. My name is Machias Regnitz. Machias. Could, could I ask you what social class you each belong to? Why do you care? I realize how that must sound, uh, considering my recent outburst. But please, don't take it personally. I'm simply curious to know who I'm associating with. Um, well, both of my parents are commoners. Likewise. Though my homeland has no class system to begin with. Ah, so you're from abroad then? What about you, Reem? Well... 
Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. There's more to him than meets the eye. Well, now that's a relief. We should probably get moving then. Somewhat concerned about the girls, as you might imagine. I'd feel much I better if we were around to help if they wound up in danger. I think they can take care of themselves. Yeah, I suppose there's strength in numbers. However, that girl, a uh, fee who just went off on her own, I am concerned about her. Alright, let's go. Machias. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Huh. All right, let's have our shotgun surge. I, I hope he actually is a shotgun surgeon. That'd be cool. What's a place like this even doing on the school grounds? Yeah, who puts a giant trap door in a campus building? Huh. Winds, give us your blessing. I shouldn't skip, but I apparently can. <coughs> I'll probably be cutting these out or speeding through them, but I do have a new party member, so... Gun. Yes. Come on. Go. There. Leave it to me. My turn. Arcus, activate. Right. Break shot. How about this? Double kill. Nice work, L. I did it. Level up. All right. I'm just getting started. Oh my God! I've been going for an hour. Uh, I think it's a good place to end this. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I continue through this. Gotta come beneath the school and kill more monsters and find more people and try to straighten up with that blonde girl that you fell on me and nothing pervy happened. But until then, I am the Dark. I am the Dark Sheriff signing off.